Hi everyone, welcome back to Canary Cast. Norwich City have done it again. Another late winner, this time from Super Mario Goals. Jacob, we've just about done it today, but three wins in three. I love, love, love Mario Vrancic. Just get him on the pitch. For every, I don't even care if he's injured. Get him on that pitch, because I bloody love him. And I've called it again. I've said he's the game screaming out for him. And when it's come to him, that free kick, we just know he's pinging it over. It was so easy. It was just, oh, it was wonderful. I love him. He's the best player we've ever had. I don't even care. <laughs> he's brilliant. I absolutely he's, love he's so routine from that position. He makes it look so easy. It's just, you just knew it was in. Yeah. Like, the only, only why I had, and I've just said it to you off camera, Emmy Buendia, stay away. Because this is not your ball. Yeah. Leave it to the master. And in that position, we're used to him scoring up the other end of the pitch from, from those three kicks, Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, Allsop, I wouldn't say he's the greatest goalkeeper in the world for his athleticism. So I thought if he gets it up and down, it's in. And yeah, it was just, it was beautiful. I sat there recording it ready. It's like, Mario, come on, don't let this recorded fail. <laughs> it's gone. It's done. It's beautiful. And I'm just very, very happy. Your eye follow work this week then? I hate eye follow. For anyone who doesn't know, I, the Rotherham game didn't work for me. Spent ten pounds. Emailed them the whole week, and they've uh, not given me my money back. So because apparently they don't give anything, no matter even though they've taken full. So I follow. Fuck you. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, <laughs> right, let's get on to the game. We'll do selection first, as always. Um, bit of news on Christoph Zimmerman from the pre-match press conference. Um, you know, he only just missed Rotherham. He then misses Birmingham, and now he's missed Wickham, which Daniel Farker didn't expect. Um, but he is not having any luck with injuries at the minute, is he, Christoph? I think with the goal as well, you obviously look at Gibson and Hanley, that that um, partnership hasn't kind of fully formed yet. Said in the week that Hanley's better than Zimmerman. Rusty against and fault for letting it go. I don't know why he let it go there. Um, and then Hanley shielding it back. Why, where's there not a call? Why yeah, is there no cool. call in an empty stadium? Ben Gibson goes man on. Then you just you make sure you get your body across. Don't let Scott Cashcut score. Yeah. Big play from Cashcut. Just want to say Wickham. Fair bloody play. I, we made them look good, but Jesus, they they did more for, in my opinion, than Birmingham did, but a hundred percent, even Derby. And I know they beat us, but I, they play with their heart on their sleeves. Fair play to them. They, they didn't deserve to lose, but it's a bloody big win again. Yeah, it is unchanged lineup, of course, which I think is probably fair enough. Possibly you could have put Vrancic in after last the last game, but I think it was probably fair enough on reflection, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, though, we, we have the same problems, don't we, mate? It just doesn't click. It's still not fully clicking. First 10 minutes, we, we both agree that we were absolutely excellent. Yeah. But, oh, hello, this is going to be a landslide here. I think that helped with Wickham being as open as they were. Mm. Um, I was surprised by their naivety there. I thought they would have been a lot more solid, especially in the first 10 minutes. Because yeah. if you do that against Norwich, you frustrate them. Um, lovely goal. What a oh, goal. So classic Timu. Classic Timu. Perfect link up, Buendir to Puki. We've seen it, Leicester, Chelsea, all in the championship season. I remember QPR, I remember when we did that away and he smashed it in. It's a beautiful finish. And that looked like a man there who um, it relieved a lot of stress, relieved a lot of pent up just anger, probably frustration in his own game. Because every time, even when you listen to when he scores at the moment, oh, two goals in 20 games for Team of Puki, leave that. Leave that. He's got two goals now this season. Yeah. Hopefully he follows on. I still don't think he's fully there. I, I, I think he doubts himself a lot more than what he has done since he's been at Norwich, especially with his first time finishing. But you know what? If he gets 20 goals, that's all you can ask for this season. Yeah, lovely thing to finish. As soon as you give, go through on goal, I remember 18-19, as soon as that happened, you're like, OK, right, oh, goal. Yeah. Not so much last season, but it was good to see him do that today. Really, really encouraging. Um, yeah, first 10 minutes, quality. Maybe even the first 15 minutes, but... Wickham get themselves back into it. Really sloppy goal. I mean, Gibson backed off the Wickham strike who won the header. And then Hanley doesn't know where Kashkit is, really, does he? It, no, where's the where's where's the communication? That's yeah. it's awful from them too, because we've we've complimented their their kind of um, captaincy kind of how they are around the place. They almost carry a bit of an aura, I think, in that centre back partnership. There has to be a call there, even Tim Krull. Um yeah, for me, it's, it's a dreadful, dreadful goal to concede, especially at this level. But fair play, he nips in, and I thought Cash gave them problems in the round. And it's, yeah, um, it was disappointing, wasn't it? I, and then for the rest of the, the, that half, it, I think it kind of shows how brittle our confidence still is because we still looked, I will say, very shocked by that from a team we, who... We look shell-shocked. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Just 75 minutes to go and win the game, and we look shell-shocked. And if you look at it again, we've had three wins in a week, all last minutes, which should have been far more convincing. Um, but you take them, you take them free. We wanted three wins from these three games. We've got them. 
I would, I'm still performance, but if you're going to shit Alice's league, let's do it. I don't care. Yeah. Get yeah. back up and get in that top six. It's needs must until the yeah. confidence clicks and, and the game kind of everything gets into position again because that's what we need. I still don't think this formation is the right way. We're not using Hugo in the correct way. We, we, keep, we keep taking him off and then crossing the ball more. I don't really don't understand that. Yeah. I don't, we're not using him uh, correctly yet. But I hope it clicks a little bit more, and then we would. It's not. It's not a snowball effect yet, is it? I, I'm not thinking we've won three games, and now Brentford and Bristol City are terrified by our performance. Those are going to be really interesting to see how we we actually are and yeah. uh, where we are uh, compared to the uh, upper echelons in the league. Brentford lost to Stoke today as well, of course. So I think it was three one in the end. Three two. Uh, um, three two. They got him back second. Horse twice. He's, so when we look at obviously Brentford preview, you have got Ivan Tony, you have got Marcus Force as well. He's a real prolific, prolific last season for Wimbledon, a real poacher in the box, and um, they're going to be a massive, huge, huge test. I, I, they're the team I fear in this league. Yeah, whilst it's great that we've got three wins stitched together, three wins back to back. Now we have got a real test on Tuesday. 100%, 100 and well, <laughs> you could say Rotherham give you the first win. Birmingham red card and this week we can give away a silly foul I know you've got to take those opportunities when you get them but Brentford aren't going to give you that those chances are they no we have you mentioned a red card there we have got one to talk about later in this video but I thought we were going to get one earlier when Ben Gibson quite harshly got booked I think he got to that ball first and then about 30 seconds later pulled um on your dimmer <laughs> down in the penalty area I thought oh no I was like oh god Christ please don't please oh, yeah uh, I think we're benefit beneficiaries of potentially being a big team <laughs> like in, at this Great. level, Wickham get that. I'm not yeah. so sure. Um, other like if that's Man U, we're playing them. You could potentially. Uh, I thought Ben again was was solid. I think I think we just kind of were surprised by how much Wickham took the game to us when they scored. Yeah. They just their conf their confidence went so far through the roof, didn't they? And we were just so like on the floor again. Yeah. But you know what? At the end of the day, let's not analyze it too much. I know it's an analytical video, and we are <laughs> we're very known for our analytics. But let's be honest. At the end of the day. It's a massive win for confidence. Again, you made the perfect point. We've stitched them together. They're not, they've not been fantastic wins, but you know what? A win's a win. <laughs> yeah. Nine from nine. Yeah. You get into that top six, and now it's time for the big Yeah, I think this early in the season is just about three points, really, isn't it? Um, let's talk about set pieces, because uh, Joe Jacobson has quite a nice delivery on him on those corners, and there was a couple of occasions where we, we got away with it, to be honest. He scored numerous goals from corners over last season. We said it in our little brief preview after the uh, reaction game to Birmingham. He's well known for that. And I think Stewart should score five yards out. Yeah. Should do better there, really, shouldn't he? Uh, he'll be disappointed with himself. He was punching the air, wasn't he? And how frustrated he was. Um, we're, we're lucky again, mate. You know, at the end of the day, you could lose that game against Wickham, which is would have been unthinkable. But we've got away with it and we've got the win. So let's move on and... <laughs> just try and try and find the roots of goodness there because I think Rupp and Skip will be a lot better against Brentford than they were today yeah. Yeah. because it's more of their game. But we'll wait and see. Yeah, I think they suit the game more. OK, let's talk about Adam Eder for a couple of reasons. Mm. The impact he had when he came on and then the obvious red card towards the end. Um, he loves to get the ball into feet, turn and shoot from anywhere. <laughs> which is good to see you know a guy who's obviously got his first goal against Huddersfield and he's got that confidence he backed his own ability and it's nice to see that Daniel Farker obviously backs him as well but the red card I uh, know we can we can praise all of his um, kind of natural and kind of the parts that will develop in his game but though those parts are great but the red card's just stupid yeah. needless yeah. no need at 2-1 uh, it's, it's it's a professional. It's Joe Jacobson, who's a long veteran professional, knows what he's doing there against a kind of youngster coming up through the ranks, isn't he? Um, and it's three unnecessary games that we we could yeah. have used it for, really, because especially the two big ones. Yeah, exactly. Brentford on Tuesday, we haven't got him. We probably won't have him for what probably three games. Mm, yeah, yeah, and it's just silly when you don't really don't need them. Um, he causes an impact when he comes on, doesn't he? We've said that numerous times. Don't think he's a left winger, but he does cause issues in that defensive third because of his his strength, his frame and his pace. Mm. Um, and it's just silly from him. Really silly. Uh, but good chance for probably Plahetta now, I'd say, off mm -hmm. the bench. He'll probably be the next choice up now. Yeah, I would have thought so. Um, we've spoken about it at the top of the video already, but let's talk about the free kick again because it was superb. It was the moment that changed the game. Um, Mario Vrancic generally, when he came on, he did, it, he did add a bit of invention. Nothing like we saw last week, but um, when that foul was called, we've won this. 
typical ball from Mario early in the game to Buendia, who I thought should have hit the target. Yeah, um, it back. Yeah, yeah. true. Uh, and that's just classic Mario, isn't it? Like, <laughs> you, and we've said so many times, he's the only midfielder in that two that will score goals. Um, Skip and Rip, I don't think you need both of them. I, I can understand why they played today, but it also didn't surprise me that we didn't look like we were progressing through the pitch enough. The tempo is so slow. And it was nice to see, you, we, we were messaging each other, weren't we? And you said, nice to see the subs earlier. Yeah. Mario gets 20 minutes. And let's be honest, if Mario only has five minutes on the pitch, legs a little bit, maybe not fully in it, blood pumped, you know, I could use every excuse in the book, not getting used to the, the touch of the ball, the surface, blah, 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 blah. Maybe he doesn't score that free kick. I know it's natural to him, but if he has five, tw- uh, five minutes instead of 20, maybe that that um, goes over. He overhits it with his first couple of touches. So great to see. Wonderful free kick. And I bloody love him. Yeah. Has he got to start now on Tuesday? Oh, no. Won, that's two games he's won, Jacob. That's two no. games. No, simply because of the opposition. You play the opposition. You don't play... Look, Brentford in that game, mm-hmm. Jensen... Will and <laughs> Dalsgaard, all of the uh, De Silva as well. In that midfield, they will ru- overrun him. That, that game is not for him to start because we will not be dominating possession at all. Skip and Rip are perfect for that game. If it was against another poorer team that you that you dominate possession, hundred percent you have him in. But from away from home, Skip and Rip will be the ones I, I, I think should be in there. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree with you. I think that's a good point, actually, Jacob. Um, I think we'll leave it there unless there's anything else you want to t- chat about. No, again, I just want Daniel to um, give me the winning fee because it's, it's ridiculous now. You know, it's two, two from two, Daniel. I know you're looking. He's got his iPad there, isn't he? And he's scrolling through Twitter. We know the Cow Road internet's good, Daniel. We know you've <laughs> got Canary Cast notifications pinned on. Make sure you do the same as well if you're watching. Please like and subscribe. We really do appreciate it. We're near 300 now. Can't believe we're getting that far. Yeah. Brilliant. We love it, don't we? We love seeing yeah, the audiences great. grow. And we love having a chat with you, you all. We're kind of looking at your comments, reading through. We reply to everyone on Twitter after a game. It's brilliant to see, especially after a win, maybe not after a loss. It's yeah. not good to be depressing. But yeah, we absolutely love it. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment di- how good is Mario Vrancic, probably the best player ever. Full stop, done. I'm going out for the night and celebrating. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't blame you at all. Why not? Three wins in three. Got to make the most of it. We'll leave it there for now. But like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you for a Brentford preview pretty soon. Let us.